Hi, welcome back to my channel and today I have this beautiful lady with me, Alia. Alia is our Pilates instructor on the Feel Fitness app and today we want to focus on the core. Exactly. So hi you guys, I'm Alia. Nice to see you guys again. So today's workout will be um, a core intensive workout. Um, so right from the start, right from the beginning, we're going to be working on stabilizing the core and simultaneously strengthening it as well. Um, and it's a short and effective and sometimes difficult workout. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be here today to start working and strengthening and activating the core. So if you're new to Pilates, don't worry about it because I'm new to Pilates <laughs> and she will be guiding us yes. through this entire workout. And if you want to have a firmer tummy, well, be sure to do this workout. All right now, so the first exercise we're gonna be doing is called the watchdog. Um, so again, many of you, this exercise may seem familiar, but it's a good warm-up exercise here. So we're gonna start on our, on our hands and knees, making sure your hands are directly stacked underneath the shoulders, knees directly stacked underneath the hips. Think about pressing those hands away from each other and also think about pulling those elbows towards each other. So you're definitely working the pecs, the serratus anterior. Next really important cue, you want to make sure you don't drop the head so it's constantly in line with the cervical spine. So watchdog, we're just going to take a big inhale, think about pressing those fingertips and those hands away from the mat. As you exhale, we are going to reach right arm and left leg out simultaneously. Inhale to hold and exhale to release back down, reset. Left side, inhale to prepare. Exhale, reach left arm and right leg. And release back down. Again, option, you can either have the toes curled under or flat, depending on what you're comfortable with. Let's do about three more times on each side. Right arm and left leg, slide the arm forward and the leg back. Again, you want to avoid any rotation in those hips. And release to reset. Left arm and right leg, keeping the arm and the leg parallel to the floor. Good, two more on each side. Keep breathing, you guys. Inhale, exhale, slide arms and leg off. Squeeze those glutes. Pull the belly in towards the spine and release back down. Left arm, right leg. Challenge yourself to hold for a couple of seconds and release. So you're also working the obliques here. Right arm, left leg. So the obliques are gonna prevent you from rotating those hips and the torso. And gently release back down. Last one here, left arm and right leg and hold. Squeeze the glutes, keep pushing the hands away from the mat so you're not collapsing into the shoulders. And gently bring the arm and the leg down. Well done, you guys. So again, generally throughout this whole sequence of um, core exercises, you can either do about, we're doing about four sets each, but ideally about six to eight reps for each exercise. So the next exercise we're gonna do is the short plank. Again, this is another familiar exercise that we've done, I think, in one of my first few videos. So, again, same position on your hands and knees. And for the short plank, you wanna make sure that you're curling those toes under, so there's no option to have the feet flat. So from here, keeping the legs about hip distance apart, nice neutral spine, flatten those lower abdominals. Think about shooting the tailbone out towards the back of the room. Push your hands away. Whenever you're ready, inhale to lengthen out through the crown of the head. Exhale to just hover the knees off a couple of inches, maintaining that neutral spine. And then gently to lower back those knees. Let's do that three more. Inhale, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale to hover off. Again, imagine that you can basically place a little teacup on top of your sacrum <laughs> on your tailbone without dropping it. And back down. Two more, you guys. You're doing really good here. Inhale, exhale to lift. Again, try not to stick the bum up, keeping those knees slightly off, just an inch or a couple of inches. And back down. For the last one here, I want you guys to hold up for 10 seconds to challenge the abdominal endurance a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, hold. For 10, nine, eight. Imagine wearing a corset and you're really squeezing that corset. Seven, six, five, four, breathe, three, keep pulling the abs in, two, one, knees down, gently push back into a shell stretch. Again, a lot of the work, core sequencing that we're gonna be doing today involves a lot on the wrist. So again, don't forget to stretch out the wrist in between the exercises. 
So the next exercise is a short plank too. So obviously it's going to be a little bit more challenging a progression. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate the exercise. Your knees are going to be off. The only difference is you're going to reach that one leg up, right leg up. So imagine you're stomping to make a footprint off that right foot onto the ceiling. Again, avoid any rotation. If you find that that's too much, what you can do to modify is keep your knees onto the mat or keep the range nice and small, all right? So we're gonna have the knees off for this. Inhale to prepare, making sure you're in a nice alignment and form. Exhale to hover those knees off. Find that nice neutral spine, stabilize the pelvis. And now let's reach the right leg, footprint up towards the ceiling, well done. Back down, to the left. And down, three more on each side, you're doing great. Right, good. Exhale, left. Squeeze those glutes, two more on each side. To the right. To the left, don't forget you're still wearing that corset. One last time on each side. Right, bring that left knee down, a bit closer to the floor, to the mat. One last time to the left here. Bring that right knee closer to the mat. Release that left leg, lower down those knees gently and push back into a shell stretch. How are we feeling back there? Good. Good, all right. It's challenging quickly. but good. <laughs> stretch out the wrist really quickly. Good, and you guys, really important that whenever you're in all fours that you don't sink in between the shoulder blades because that's gonna add unnecessary pressure onto the wrist, okay? And by pushing away from the mat, you're alleviating that, that pain and that pressure. All right, next exercise is our watchdog two. So I was just telling Jonat, this is probably the most difficult exercise in this repertoire. So I'll give you guys a couple of modifications as well. Don't worry about it. So the exercise goes, you're gonna hover the knees off, same as the first watchdog, and then you're gonna extend right arm and left leg. So it looks something like this and gently back down. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do one set. Let's try to do two sets, continuous, and then take a break, and then continue to do another two. All right, again, modification. Keep those knees on the mat to do the regular watchdog, the first exercise, okay? So it takes a lot of concentration here. Do try to find a fixed spot onto the floor. Don't let those eyes wander because you're gonna lose your balance, okay? So roll out those shoulders, take a big breath. Making sure those knees are apart, curl those toes under, hover those knees, stabilize. Reach right arm, left leg, extend to the front and the back, and gently release. Left arm, right leg, and back. Super tough, even for me. Right arm, left leg, hold. Gently lower down, getting a little wobbly here. Left arm, right leg, hold. Place your hands and your toes back, knees down. All right, two more sets. Yes, Can I'm we ready. do this? All yes. right, let's, let's do this. You guys are good. Again, you guys, for those who have been doing the modification to begin with, challenge yourself here. At least do one set with me with those knees off, okay? All right, hover those knees off. Working those obliques, abdominals drawn in towards the back of the spine. Hover off. Right arm, left leg. And back down. Left arm, right leg. Well done. One more on each side. Reach fingertips forward, toes back. Energy through those fingertips and those toes. Left arm, right leg. Back to center, keep those knees off. Reset neutral spine. Gently lower down those knees. And push back into a nice child's pose, knees apart, toes together. Well done, you guys. So we're done with all of our exercises in the quarter pet position, yay. Unfortunately, we're gonna go to our plank series now. <laughs> to be specific, we're gonna do the elbow plank. So I'm pretty sure we've all done an elbow plank before. Same principle applies to, it, to an elbow plank in Pilates. So you're gonna come onto your elbows right here. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna lift your knees off and push back into a nice elbow plank. Again, 
try to bring your legs closer together. The closer your legs are, the more difficult the plank becomes. And lower down those knees. Let's do that six more. Inhale. Exhale, pull those kneecaps up, push those shoulders away from the mat. Still wearing that corset. Squeeze those inner thighs and abductors and glutes. And back down. You've got five more. Five more. Lift up for five. Hold. Start feeling the shiver. Zip pubic to belly. Back down. Pick up the pace for four. Well done. Back down for three. Try to bring those palms, the knuckles parallel to your elbows. Yes, that makes it more difficult. You're breaking the chain here, open chain. Good, two more. Inhale, lift up. Two. Bend the knees. Lift up and you're gonna hold for five seconds. Five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. And two. Knees down, push away. Are you breaking a sweat? Yes, I, I am. <laughs> and I'm All shaking right. too. <laughs> Next variation, you guys. We're going to be working on from that elbow plank. And we're going to add on a little bit of a challenging stability and coordination exercise. So while you're in that elbow plank, you're going to be hovering off the right leg and hovering off that left leg. So as you reach one leg back, think about pointing the leg back. And again, try not to let those hips, the bum pike up towards the sky. All right. So let's do this. Let's do about four times on each side. Coming onto your elbows, lift the knees off. Again, keeping the palms apart from each other whenever you're ready. Let's hover to lift that right leg off the mat. Point that right foot and down. Making sure there's equal weight distribution. Left leg, no rotation of the hips. Right, collarbone nice and wide and away from the ears for those shoulders, and left. You're still squeezing those inner thighs and those glutes. Two more on each side. Right. So you wanna think about elongating the spine, think about shooting the head forward. One more time on each side, right. And left, last one here. Lower down that left foot onto your knees and push back. Well done. Final exercise here. And we're going to be lying face up in your supine position. So this exercise here is challenging for the core, but at the same time, you want to make sure that your form and alignment is perfect or ideally perfect. Okay. So the exercise goes, let's do it together. So let's start in a neutral spine first, bending both knees. Good, you wanna have your inner thighs glued together. Nice neutral spine. So again, that neutral spine, think about having a little blueberry underneath the lower back. Hands by your side. Or you can have a nice T position if you have more support right there, okay? Or slightly narrow, whatever is comfortable for you. From here, you're gonna come into a supported spine, imprinted spine. You're gonna squish that blueberry, all right? So you're in a slight posterior tilt here. Reach right leg up to a high diagonal, keeping that nice imprinted spine. Keep those shoulders down. Left leg, adducted. Good, from here, inhale, you're gonna hinge to 90 degrees. Exhale, use those lower abdominals, scoop the belly in to roll the legs overhead. Stay parallel to the floor. From here, if you can, depending on your hamstring flexibility, Tap the toes down towards the floor. If not, that's fine. Keep it there like Joanna. Flex the foot. Abduct them. Hip distance apart. Exhale. Slowly start melting the spine down, bone by bone, keeping the shoulders down. Yes, articulating the spine. Reach the legs to your starting position. Point those legs. Three more, you guys. Well done. Inhale. Hinge to 90 first. Exhale. Lower abdominals. Working the TA transverse abdominus. Legs parallel to the floor. Keep it pointed. Tap down. Lift. Flex. Abduct hip distance apart. Exhale, slowly rolling down. Imagine you're laying some pearl necklaces down onto the mat. Yes. And then circle to bring the legs back in together. You've got two more. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, scoop up to lift. Tap. Lift. Flex. Abduct slowly rolling down through the center of the body 
from the midline. Delay those legs as much as you can. Start rolling down. Oh yes. <laughs> Collapsing. One more. Yes, you don't want to collapse like a hot potato. Avoid that as much as you can. One more. Inhale to hinge. Exhale to lift up. Tap. Flex. Open. And start melting the spine back down. Rolling down. Bone by bone. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Legs back up to a nice high diagonal. Bend the knees. Bring the knees into your chest. All right, so I think that's all that we can cover for today. Again, you have an option to do the reverse where you start with the legs abducted and you start peeling the spine off the mat. All right, roll over to one side and you guys are done. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I feel like I, I didn't just have a core workout, but also a total body workout. Yeah, and there's a lot of, yeah, sorry to cut you, there's a lot of coordination, choreography involved. But again, take it slow. Get yeah, your correct. Yeah. Because this is not something that I'm used to doing, but yeah. it's a really good workout to challenge and activate my core. Definitely. So I will definitely be adding this into my routine. Yes. Only 50 minutes long. <laughs> Let's do it every day. Yes, as should you guys. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. If you enjoyed this class with Alia, be sure to check out a lot more Pilates classes on the Feel Fitness app with Alia. And don't forget to also hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below which was the toughest post. <laughs> yeah, it was challenging but it, it was, was a lot of fun and we will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>